look at these two sentences this sentence says ankita said to ravi i took your pen yesterday now in this case we are directly quoting the words of ankita these are the exact words of ankita and we have put them with an inverted commas so we are directly quoting the words of the speaker so this is direct speech whereas in this sentence ankita told ravi that she had taken his pen the previous day so we are not directly quoting the words of ankita we are not using the exact words of the speaker we are stating what the speaker said in some other words without changing the meaning of the sentence this is indirect speech so both are ways of reporting but this is direct speech this is indirect speech now when we change a sentence or convert a sentence from direct speech to indirect speech there are certain things which change like said to becomes told so the reporting verb changes also the inverted commas are removed and there is a that another thing i becomes she your becomes his so the pronouns inside the quotations they change also took becomes had taken so the tense changes or if it is future tense the modal changes also yesterday becomes the previous day so there are certain special words which indicate time or place so they also change when we convert from direct speech to indirect speech now in this lecture we will see how the tense changes when we convert a sentence in direct speech to indirect speech more specifically we will restrict ourselves to past tense that is when the sentence within the quotations within the inverted commas is in past tense so let us see how so look at this sentence you said ravi wrote the letter now when the reporting verb is in the past tense so the reporting verb here is said said is the past tense of say so it is in the past tense now you said that is you said in the past ravi wrote the letter now this wrote is simple present now how do i report it in indirect speech said is simple past and wrote is also simple past but you said ravi wrote the letter now if in indirect speech i use the same tense i say you said that ravi wrote the letter then it will not be clear what happened before because both are in simple past so in order to change it into indirect speech we write you said that ravi had written the letter now had written is past perfect so it indicates that when you said this action was already complete or already finished so this is simple past and this is past perfect because when you said so if i am saying it right now ravi wrote the letter this means that this action is already complete when i am saying it so this action is already complete when you said it so we change simple past to past perfect so if the tense of the sentence within the inverted commas is simple past it gets changed to past perfect in indirect speech she said the baby was sleeping peacefully now was sleeping is past continuous now the reporting verb is in the past tense so past continuous becomes past perfect continuous she said that the baby had been sleeping peacefully 
so was sleeping becomes had been sleeping so past perfect continuous past perfect continuous the baby had been sleeping peacefully so past continuous becomes past perfect continuous nitin said nikita had bought a car now had bought is past perfect so what will it change to in indirect speech well this is simple past and this is past perfect so in indirect speech it will remain as past perfect nitin said that nikita had bought a car so when the sentence inside the inverted commas is in past perfect tense the tense does not change from direct to indirect speech it remains the same similarly for past perfect continuous i said i had been reading a book so had means past been means perfect and reading means continuous i had been reading a book what will it change to in indirect speech once again the tense remains the same i said that i had been reading a book so past perfect continuous remains past perfect continuous when we convert from direct to indirect speech so this is how the sentences in the past tense within direct speech change so this happens when the reporting verb is in the past tense if the reporting verb is in the present tense there is no change so if the reporting verb is in the past tense say for example said or told that is when these changes take place what are the changes so if the direct speech is in simple past the indirect speech becomes past perfect if it is past continuous it becomes past perfect continuous if it is past perfect it remains the same that is past perfect if it is past perfect continuous it once again remains the same past perfect continuous so everything changes to perfect tense so past simple past becomes past perfect past continuous becomes past perfect continuous past perfect remains past perfect and past perfect continuous remains past perfect continuous this is how the tenses change when the direct speech is in past tense if you like this video then subscribe to our channel you can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per cbsc icsc ib cambridge or any other curriculum over 5000 amazing lectures on maths science english and social science a unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our i dictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions get instant answers and detailed solutions be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests performance analysis along with actionable feedback personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts and that's not all you can also win exciting prizes like playstations ipads watches and many more along with certificates through our earn as you learn program so at deltastep.com learning is not just fun and easy it is rewarding too so register for free now